Hi guys, good to have you all back and in case you're new to my channel, my name is Margaret and I am from the Netherlands. I do paper crafting, John journal project and the occasional vintage treasure hunting. Welcome to my channel. Guys, I have all sorts of craft tools and supplies on my desk today and you can probably tell what we're going to do. I want to do something with slides. Yes, so I'm going to talk a little bit about it, show you what we're going to use and then we're going to make some. I don't know what it is, but I'm really into slides at the moment. I've used these in a project um, earlier and also a die cut from uh, Tim Holtz set. This one, 665930. Yes, from chapter three collector, I believe. Um, but I have a couple of other options that you can use. I also have these two slides. Don't ask me where I got them. I got them ages ago. Yes, they also make these sorts of slides. Uh, but for these you need a die cut machine. Maybe you have the real ones or maybe you have these. These are actually coin holders for coin collectors. It's like heavy cardstock with an acetate uh, window. And um, this is actually sort of, you can peel this off, then it's sticky and then you can fold them up. And it's really, really cute. Um, you can order these on Amazon and such. And sometimes my friend um, Leonie on Instagram also sells them. So these are available. You can, because they're still coin collectors, guys. But, you know, in case you don't have any of these, but you do really like making slides, let me show you some alternatives that you probably have um, in your craft room to make some slides you might not have a die cut machine but maybe you have these punches yes um these uh circle punches i have all different sizes uh for this project i'm using the two inch one just a circle punch or a square punch or even a rectangle punch i don't have those need to find them so you can make sort of this using this or this using this easy right now if you have none of those maybe you probably do have this like a craft knife knife guys these are you can pick these up really really cheap all over the world probably uh you can get them at um a craft store or at the hardware store or in the supermarket even just you know these very inexpensive throwaway whatever knives stanley knives you need to have a ruler for this then because we need to cut straight but what if you want to make the circle ones well i have this tool i'm not saying it's a fantastic tool but i do have it it is this one i bought this at action a while ago there's a blade in here and a pin and uh it's like a compass thingy you just put the measurements on and then you sort of draw a circle with it and it cuts it out so that's another way you can make uh, circles am i really happy with this tool no <laughs> no but maybe you know maybe you have better luck with it i'm rubbish with at this one but okay it was at action it was very very cheap or maybe you're really good at drawing circles and then um cutting them out so you can make these by hand so you don't need all these fancy fancy tools basically you just need this um for the other supplies let me show you you can make two types of slides the ones that are see-through yes that you put a piece of acetate in or it already has the acetate in and then these ones they just um punch out something on the front and it's backed with another piece of paper it could be nice but i personally prefer my slides to be see-through yes i don't know just Otherwise, it's just like a piece of paper with a window on it. Um, but all of these, they don't, um, they are not see-through. They all have this backing. But I have a solution for this. Let me show you. I've used this from Mr. Tim Holtz. Yes, you uh, punch this out. Then you have a window here and this is solid. What I do then is I just flip it around where the window is here. Yes, the piece of paper. And then this is the solid piece. So I just punch it again. You have to be really, really careful because you need to line them up exactly. And then you get this. See, it's this window here and this window here. So and you can fold it in and then you have basically this light. 
so that's what i like to do with um with these just you know turn them over punch them again it'll work every time because uh this is the exact same size as this size but you need to be careful just to put your paper in exactly attach it with a piece of washi tape and it'll stay so that's what i do if i want to have the see-through um slides yeah okay for the other supplies i was talking about other supplies because i want to make see-through ones i need acetate i'm using acetate it's underneath here uh these are actually overhead projector sheets yes see the shiny stuff um you can still buy this guys on amazon or or what have you overhead projector sheets that you can print on i do not dare to print on it i don't believe it will work i found a whole box at a thrift shop so yay but you can also use um packaging material yes if you buy uh, something new and it's wrapped in in this sort of cellophane plastic use that if you don't want it to have it sort of clear see-through you can also use uh, some vellum or some baking paper or anything that is a little bit transparent so uh, but i really enjoy um, these because they're nice and they're sturdy and they're not crinkly see this is a little bit crinkly can you see it if i use this it won't be crinkly at all so acetate i'm going to make the slides from cardstock i have taken out some scraps i have all sorts of scraps uh cardstock i did not take out bright colors i just took these muted sort of old type colors so i like these um for decorating i want something to be in the window maybe you have dried flowers that'll be fantastic i do not at the moment i just don't have them around but these will be fantastic to put uh, dried flowers um but if you don't i'm going to use rub-ons yeah I think that'll look nice. I might even use these. And um, acetate washi stickers. It's not washi, just acetate stickers. Where are they? I have a whole, a whole book full. Like these. Yes, I hardly ever use them because they're shiny. But it doesn't matter if they're shiny, if they're on, on something else shiny. So acetate stickers. Um... I'm going to do a bit of stamping, not on the acetate, on the frame around it. I have taken out um, three of my, well, two of my favorite, which is uh, absolutely field notes, because that corresponds well with slides, uh, eccentric. And I recently bought this one. It is Moth Studies, because I really love these. I do like these. I'm going to use them, for, but for this project, probably only going to use these ones recommended by barbara at by Bar paper lover she used them and then i decided to get some myself so who's the influencer now barbara <laughs> so these a little bit of glue we're probably going to use a little bit of glue um maybe some inking you know the usual but what you really need is um cardstock a knife if you have a punch if you want a real window, um, acetate. Yeah, let's get going. I want to make the round one first. So I'm going to use my uh, circle punch. This is a two inch one. You can have a one and a half, one inch, you know, any size you want, love me, any size you want. So I want, I want to use cardstock with this. Now, what I want to do is fold my cardstock over um about well i'm gonna fold this in half doesn't matter lovies how big this is yes because if it is too long you can trim it so don't have it too short what i really would like is to have the circle here and then a little bit of room underneath so do not have the circle in the middle yeah but it all depends on what size of um punch you're using so double up your cardstock because we want the circle on the front and the back to be in the exact same size. I think this will work best. Now, I'm going to uh, put the folded piece into my circle punch. Yes. I'm going to flip it over. Yeah. This is endless. This has an end. It ends around here. So what I want to do 
for sort of an equal measure, I'm going to push it, push it all the way to the edge. Also going to push it all the way to this, this edge here. So that is my measurement. I think this piece that is sticking out will be too long, but we have scissors for that, lovies. Make sure it's straight, so don't have it in crooked. Yes, straight all the way to the, this edge and all the way to this edge. On the side, maybe a little bit longer. Tiny bit longer, yes, and then you just punch it. There you go, and you have two lovely circles that we can use for another project. See, there it is. Now this, I sort of measured it already. This is half an inch. So what we need to do is uh, take off this, leave half an inch. That is not the simplest thing to do. <laughs> so what I am doing, I'm just taking out my paper trimmer. Yeah, I know that this metal piece over here is half an inch. So I'm going to put it in. Hopefully you can see it the other, other way around. Yes. I'm going to butt it up against to the top, then move it where I first see the metal coming in. I'm going to try to zoom me in. If I put it, I pull it a little bit further, see, there's the metal. So the metal just needs to hit the circle. Yes, because then it means we have half an inch over here as well. See, now they're equal. You can trim it if you like. I'm going to trim it a tiny bit. Doesn't matter how much, guys. Just do, you do you, you do you. Oh, let's have this four inches. No, three and three quarters inches long. There you go. This is the shape of my slide with the circle. Yeah. Also decided, you know me. <laughs> I want the corners to be rounded. I think that'll make it more interesting. Uh, I'm going to do it on the top and on the bottom. And there you go. Now, hopefully, yes, it works. I'm telling you guys, corner rounders, you need them. There you go. I want to take it a step further because if we take this one, it has these holes in them. Let's let's just make holes. But I want them to be exact. I want them to, to be all on the same um, point. So I'm just lining this up on my mat, taking out a ruler. Now this is half an inch. I do not want the circles, the punches to be half an inch more at a quarter of an inch so i'm trying to line this up at a quarter of an inch now this is on the side of the centimeters don't don't mind that lobbies just take out um I'm, I'm gonna flip it over for you guys i'm gonna flip it over for you guys i'm lining it up this is quarter of an inch lining it up with the two and then i'm going to put a small dot at a quarter of an inch again I was uh, doing it in centimeters before. Lining this up with the five, doing it a quarter inch. That is too wide. And it doesn't need to be exact, of course, as long as it's sort of in the vicinity of. Yep. But if you're good at eyeballing, you can eyeball it. Yeah, you can. Two. Here's the quarter and here's the quarter. So, made a couple of dots. Now take out whatever tool you have to punch small holes. I happen to have a um, cropper dial with the smallest setting and this is one eighth of an inch. If you don't, take out your pokey tool or any other device. I'm going to look for the dot and center the dot in the middle of my punch. Can you see? Hoping you can see. There you go. Here's one. Of course, this doesn't fall out. Never does. Do you have a trick for this, guys? Let me know. Well, that went through.
and the last one. I have the feeling this one is too high. Don't you? Yeah, it is. It is a little bit too high. So I'm just gonna scoot you down. it over here and yeah, that looks much better right great well i am done with all the cutting and punching and and stuff uh before i start decorating i also want to make one with a small square or rectangle using just a knife and a ruler let's do the rectangle or square one um, I want to make this one a little bit different. I want to have a lot of space underneath to put some lovely stuff on. So I'm just going to take this piece and fold it in. Yes. Heavy card stop this. Do I have a bone folder? Probably do. Yep. Right. Now I want to have sort of a either square or a rectangle on the, on the top. You can do all sorts of measuring, guys. You know, measure it here, there, put dots, and then cut it out and stuff. But you can also take something that is either a square or a rectangle to have it as a sort of template. Maybe I have these. <laughs> you can sort of cut it out. I even have this. I've had it for a very long time. This is the first time that I'm using it. Is this big enough? No, I don't, don't think this is big enough. This is too small of a, of a window. I might do this. Does this look cool? Yeah. Is this the middle? Well, I'm hoping this is the middle. But I think so. I think so. Yes. Taking out my pen. Just drawing this out. There you go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now I am taking out my ruler. Have both pieces on top of each other, right? Don't do it like this. Otherwise you have to do it again. And now the rectangle will be the exact same size. I am going to cut a little bit beyond the line that I made. Otherwise, you'll see the line. Oh, I can't do it. No, I cannot. Because I need to see where it, where it needs to stop. Here's one. Oh, that'll work. That'll work. Yep, and then lining this up. Hopefully I cut it far enough. Yep. And the last one. Let's see, how did we do? Well, we did well on this one. Did we go far enough through on both of them? Well, maybe a tiny bit here. Yes, very happy with this. It's going to look lovely. It's going to look lovely. Great, am I going to make holes in here? No, no, gonna keep this one as is. Guys, I have now this one, this one, Tim Holtz one, and I also cut the other ones out. See, they are now the square in the holes on both sides. I just flip them over and run them through my die cut again. So I have one, two, three. I have enough. Let's um, start decorating first. In order for me to determine uh, how I'm going to decorate it, I want to know what I want to have as the frame, as, as the sort of subject inside. So I'm first going to cut all the pieces of acetate. Yeah, and put something on them. 
do not glue them in yet. I'm going to do that a little bit later. So first, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take off pieces of acetate that correspond to the size of the um, of the frame. Yeah, I'm just going to do it with my with my paper cutter. Now, don't make a round shape. No, just make a square shape. It needs to be a little bit bigger than the frame itself. It's going to be tricky with this one because it has a very small frame, but but we'll manage. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make all the squares for these um, like the small squares like this. Yeah, that we can put inside. And then let's have a look how we're going to decorate these. I'll be right back. I've taken out sort of botanical rubbons that I want to use. Yeah. On here but what i also want to use are these and this is by mr tim holtz of course remnant rubs yeah i bought these before i bought uh the eccentric stamp set because i couldn't get that one so i thought why not use this one there are a couple of numbers on here and i think it will look great on the on the estate i'm gonna try it out i'm gonna try it out guys i'm not gonna do all of them on camera because that'll take a while i'm just starting with these i just cut three of them out i do want to have them sort of in the middle now already tried this on acetate so no it works but it will leave a small sort of edge i'm putting it in guys because i want to sort of eyeball where i'm going to glue it because i really want these to be sort of in the middle leaving a bit of room on the bottom because i want a word there okay yeah so i want them there uh, the remnant rubbons thingies came with a sticky, so I'm using the sticky. So yeah, first time using um, these. And in um, the latest release from Ideology, uh, uh, Tim mentioned these. Like, well, guys, you need to buy them and use them, otherwise uh, they will be discontinued. Uh, apparently, not many people bought this. And... Um, I am sort of... Why are you surprised, Tim? Why are you surprised? Almost every sort of bit on here is also in stamp set. So it might be me. Uh, use it once, use it a gazillion times. I don't know. You don't need them if you have the stamp set. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Uh, there are a couple on here that I don't recognize probably because i don't have that exact stamp set most of it is on uh, eccentric let's see did this work it did it looks so cool i'm gonna show you guys look look isn't that cool it's so it's so it's so cool yes now let's have something underneath Something, uh, well, let's have like this number. Let's just have this number. I'm not saying don't buy it. Yeah, buy it by all means. It's not that expensive. Um, but I'm, I was just like, how are you surprised, Tim Holtz, that uh, these don't sell well? <laughs> just use different um, images than you use on your stamps. Right, so I'm going to have them underneath. Yes. I think it's going to look awesome. Hopefully this will still be within the frame. Sure. Otherwise, we'll scooch it over. We'll scooch it up. Don't know how well these do. Let's see. Well, they do really well. Oh, I do like them. I do like them. Look at that. Is that not amazing? I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, uh, watching me rub on all these things will be boring, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do all of them. And then we'll do the stamping and the decorating and... All the other fun parts. 
Here they are. I did all of them. I am. I'm so happy with the result. This is the one that we made. I'm going to put my hand behind. See? So cool. And it will look amazing uh, if it's in a journal with, you know, some book page behind them or what have you. Then I did this one uh, with the number. So you don't need to have the number like so. Have it like so. Why not? This little cutie with just a tiny number underneath. It's so, so adorable. And then this one again with the number and this one and this says type slide type slide perfect guys i want to do um uh inking stamping decorating but i want to do all of this without these in them because i do not want to damage them with ink or glue or what have you that's why i did them in advance i'm just gonna put them aside and i'm going to glue them in once we're all done with all the other decorating parts great um of course i also want to put on some labels because you know it wouldn't be me if there wasn't a label on here let me show you the labels that i'm using i'm going to use labels by tracy fox tracy fox has a youtube channel she has an etsy shop don't look for tracy fox on etsy it's love junk journals now i have all sorts of labels um from this artist in here and they're all sort of mixed together so don't ask me which one did you use well the prettiest ones um i put a lot of them together on this page uh, some of them says field notes specimen botanical specimen label um it's all sort of related to this project now this is the biggest one so i'm i think i can have this field notes one on here i think that'll look nice uh but i probably also want to have something i don't know like so maybe maybe this one's also a very a big one this also said field no that's too big that doesn't work this says specimen it is however <coughs> on a very light um sort of background but i think it'll be fine it'll be fine let's have this one over here then we have this very small one but i was thinking why not have something like this on here yeah something like this and then this i think i love this one on here just here smack in the middle will we i don't know no no smack in the middle no smack in the middle love collected by or just a lovely date i think that looks way nicer so i have this one on here i do like the this one Oh, that looks so much nicer than this. Let's have a couple of these just, you know, here and there on here. So much nicer. Yes. And then the last one. This little cutie. Is this too big? Unfortunately, it is. Just a lovely date. Yeah. I'm going to have this one on here. Yes, change my mind, change my mind. So these are the labels that I'm working with. I may add a little oh, one more over here. Are you? Will you? I think I want to add an, another one here. Entomology specimen. Oh yes, I'm gonna have this on here. I'm gonna tell you why because I'm also gonna stamp a bug on here. Yes. So that's it for the for the labels. Before I'm going to do all the stamping and such, I just fit this in here to see if this will still look nice. It will. It will. Uh, I'm going to do the inking because this is the darkest color paper that I've used. I'm using ground espresso for this. Let's see if this shows up at all. Oh, it does a little bit. Yes, it does. I might... Um, Go back in at the end with um, black soot. I think it needs a little bit of black soot. Trying to do the inside. 
of the window as well. Now, guys, I want to do all five of them, which means I'm not going to decorate the back. But by all means, decorate the back as well, because they'll look amazing. Yep. Okay, this one was going to go on here. Yes, this one is going to go on here. But I'm going to flip it over. And then this one is going to go on here. I am going to leave it over the um, acetate. But I'm uh, going to sort of cut it off at the edges. Yeah. So let's do some stamping. As I mentioned, I'm going to have a big bug on here. Big bug. Um, well, these are moths and butterflies and such. Let's have... I'll just pick one. They're all very, very lovely. New set. There you go. Let's have this one over here. For this paper, I'm using uh, First Fine Claire Nocturnal. For the other ones, I'm using a different color. And let's see. There you go. Still looks nice? Probably does. Yes, 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 yes. Um, do we also want to have... No, just one bug. Just do one bug, lovey. One bug. Now for some words and... What have you... Something by field notes because figure something something. Yeah, I think that one will look nice. Go away. Yep, <clears throat> we want small word here. Name of remitter. Perfect. What else? So many lovelies, so many lovelies. Still checking, this goes here, this goes here. I think we want something here, something longer. Number, oh, that's, this is a longer number. Yep. I think that is it. Or maybe one of these tiny ones. Yeah. Oh, here's the type slide. See? See, Mr. Tim Holtz. We have it. We have it here. Yeah. That's why we don't buy a lot of these remnant robin thingies. Oh, this looks nice. Oh, yeah. Let's just have this here. Fantastic. Do we need splatters? You know what, guys? I've been doing so many splatters lately. I am not doing any splatters. What? I am not. No. I am going to glue these on. I think it already looks really, really lovely. Um using art for this let's just use art you don't need art but you know it was nearby also inked all the labels individually with a uh, walnut stain not gluing it all the way to the edge <clears throat> In order to glue this one on, I really need to see where this will land on here, like so, so. It doesn't matter if it, if it overlaps a tiny bit. Yeah, okay. Okay. 
just gluing the bottom part. I'm gonna take this out. I do not want to have glue on there. Entomology specimen. And this one over here as well. For sure want to have the number on here. Yep, there you go. I'm not flipping stuff over. And also, I'm not cut cutting this. No, 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 no. That will look nice on the acetate, believe me. Except there's glue here. We do not want glue there. There you go. Yes, lovely. This needs to be inked with the ground espresso first. And yes, I'm going to go in with black soot. You might hear some rain, guys. It's raining. It's been snowing all morning and now it's raining. It's make up your mind weather. <laughs> I'm just tapping edges and corners. Hmm. Maybe I should have done this before I put in the labels. Yes, well, too bad, lovey, too bad. I also need to snip this. Why didn't I snip this? I don't know. There you go. I forgot. Do we already love it? Well, well, I do. So um, let's glue the acetate in. Now you can use um, glue tape here. That'll work fantastically because uh, glue tape will not sort of smudge or, you know, run into the acetate. Uh, I am, however, just going to use art. I'm just going to use art for this. Now we want it to go on here when i'm gluing i'm not gluing to these edges that's why my acetate is a little bit bigger because if we put glue on don't put a lot of glue on and we press it the glue will sort of seep into the window and we don't want this so i'm going to make sure that the glue is a little bit removed from the edge yeah uh but also it needs to <laughs> Stick on the acetate, of course. See, when we press it, the glue sort of seeps out. It is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There you go. I'm just going to glue the whole thing shut. Do not put glue on your mat. You could even glue it here, have this as pocket. We could have. We could have. That would have been fantastic, right? Yes. Yes, I know. But, you know, there's already glue on here now, so... Unfortunately, when you flip it over, you'll see this. Yes, I am sorry. I cannot fix it. What you can do if you're going to decorate the back is have a little label line up here and a little label line up here. You could. You could. Well, there's one. We love it. Yes, we love it. But we have so many more to go. Now, in order to save a little bit of time, <coughs> I already sort of fixed everything where I want what to be. Yeah. So I am taking out this one first because we do not want to damage this one. There you go. Come on. Come out. There you go. Um, I'm just starting. Let's, let's take them off. I know where what's supposed to be. I hope so. <laughs> let's start with um, another mop. I'm going to put them here now i'm using this is new uh first of all claire pine cone it's i'm hoping it's a very nice dark chocolatey brown i really enjoy this ink i really like it 
I have not used it, guys. I saved this. I saved this for this moment. So hopefully it will look nice. If it doesn't, we're going to flip the whole thing over. <laughs> way more sticky than the other one well here goes nothing oh look at this color yes uh this is what uh this is what i was hoping for that is nearly black but then brown love it 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 i don't see many uh people use this why not it's amazing ink it's amazing ink um, this I just want the, the word corresponding and not the word order. So, well, that worked. Yes, well, almost, 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 but that's okay. We're going to be inking all around it. We should have inked before. Uh, this was going to go here, right? Yeah. Oh! love this color this was gonna say filed yes and then a couple of numbers over here yes 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 love it love it love it anything else no, you might notice I left a little bit over here because I have an idea. I have an idea for over there. Later, guys, when we do sort of the toppers or the closures or the taps or all that stuff. And this was going to go over here like so. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yes, and this one was going to go a little bit on the circle. Is it straight? Yes. Yes, it is. Let's do the type slide thingy in. How does this look? I think it looks great. It looks great. Guys, I'm going to glue it in later. Yes, because you know how gluing in works now. Um, let's do this one. Typical me thinking I have all the time in the world to do this. But I don't. <laughs> so I'm sorry, guys. I did all of them off camera. Because um, I want to add a little something that I did want to share with you. So I did this one. It's just, it's just so lovely. I just really, really like them. Um, yes. And this one. All the stamping and such and all the inking around. Okay. So I want to add a little something. I have an idea for almost all of them. This one just says to me, put in an eyelet. So, well, and that's what we're doing. Oops. That is a tough one. There you go. Wow. Okay. Um, needs, it needs a little something. It needs a little something. I'm going to add this. Oh, that's a bit of a thicker piece. You could have this as a dangle. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ask questions. What are you going to do with it? You're going to enjoy it. Yes, put it in a pocket, in a journal, or have it as a talk spot, or, you know, enjoy it. Here's one. Uh, the idea for this one, um, I'm going to add these small little brads, because I have them, I love them. And they lend themselves perfectly for this. Hello, Daisy. She is standing up. <laughs> yes, love. Against my chair. Tapping me. Mom. <laughs> what do you want, love? Something to eat. Oh, careful. Careful, lovey. She probably wants a snack or something. 
Well, so do I. I also want a snack. And then this last one. It's just so lovely. Yes, love, I know. Well. <laughs> and this one. I need to bend these. But they are bendable. I did it before. Yes. No strings or anything. We have three more to go. I have an idea for this one. I have this hemp. And this trick I did before um, in my small little field notes journal. I'm just going to pull this through. And there you go, snipping it off. I love this hemp cord. Yes, it's like very neutral, very natural. What are we going to do? I'm just going to, you know, make a knot here. Just to add a little bit more interest. It doesn't need to be very fancy. Just, you know, just add something. Just add a little something. I'm gonna do it a little bit more. Can we move it? Can we, can we? Well, if we're careful, we can. Well, I just want to move it a little bit towards this, this end here, yeah? Um, this one, I want to do sort of similar to what I did here, but then, where's the start of this one? Hello, beginning, start, end. Here it is. Oh, that, will that work? Yes. Use your favorite tool ever. I'm gonna put this in my needle threader. See, such a good trick, such a good trick. I'm just gonna do two of them, one on each side, where we want the sort of knot on the on the bottom. I'm sorry if you hear some noise, guys. They're still busy in the park cutting down all the trees. I'm gonna make a bow here because why not oh isn't it cute do we want to do the other side yes 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 let's do the other side as well this one Why not add a little something? Yeah. Now I'm making bows. You don't need to make bows. You can make knots or whatever you want, guys. Whatever. I'm actually not really happy with the bows. I'm going to think of something else. Uh, but for now, I'm going to leave it like so. Gonna think of something else. Um, yes, for this one, no holes in here or what have you. I did take out my tabs, but they were all a little bit too big. I want something here, but I have this whole jar of this. These are sort of paper clip thingies with brands on them and logos and such. Took out this one. Doesn't have anything to do with entomology or field notes or what have you, but I did like sort of the gold color with a pop of orange. I just added it like so. I'm going to change this up, guys, and then we'll look at the end result. Here they are. Um, they don't look at all nice against this background. So I'm just taking out um, a piece of paper to have underneath. Let's just check them out like so, because they look much nicer, don't they? Yeah, I believe so. Let's uh, start with this one, because this was the one that we started with. It's just, you know, all sorts of loveliness. I just really like this. Yes, it's sort of a tap. You can put it out of a pocket or, you know, what have you. Really, really cute. Enjoy uh, decorating the back, <laughs> the back of these lovelies. And then this one. 
Yes, so cute. I just moved the knot a little bit to the side. I think that looks better. Just really, really lovely. And then this one with just the eyelet. So cute, right? Yeah. And these with the brads. It does look amazing against uh, text. And this, I just made a double knot and then just snip, uh, um, cut them off because this is not a bow kind of project. No. It looks amazing. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have like specimen slide dies, use them. Maybe you can use them in the way that I use them. So, you know, flip them around and have them see-through because they're supposed to be see-through, right? I, I think so. I don't know for sure. Uh, or do it um, just, you know, with a punch or scissors or what have you. You can make them yourselves. Thank you for hanging out with me today, guys. I'll be back again tomorrow with another 100-day project. Hope you'll enjoy it. See you then. Bye.